Hey guys, so I just want to talk about a pretty cool OS that recently came out with a big update. It's called Elementary OS, and this is the version 5.1. It's a pretty clean, very, very simplistic, privacy-oriented version of Linux. And you can kind of see it's very simple. It's very straightforward. You can see the bottom here it actually has a dock. It looks very Mac OS-like. It has a browser, has the mail, calendar, music player, video player, photos, settings. Oh, so cool. That looks like it's about it, right? Yep. So it's very simple. Very, very cool. You can go to the settings. Here are the settings here. It shows applications, desktop, notifications, lots of security, privacy things as well. Let's go check out the desktop, though, because I want to talk about something pretty cool. It's called Hot Corners. When you go in the Hot Corners, you can actually go in the left or the top right of your screen or bottom or bottom left or bottom right of your screen. You can actually choose that to actually do something. So you can do like multitasking view. Maximize current window, show applications menu, show all windows, switch to new workplace, and do all these other cool things. I really like it. I think it's really cool. And I can't wait to see what other updates they're going to have with this in the future. Maybe to do more things. More like random things or very maybe make it very custom, which would be really cool. Power options are very straightforward. The mouse and touchpad very straightforward, which I really like. Basically, if you think your mouse is too fast, too slow, go to mouse setting. If you think your display is a little bit off, go to display setting. They make it so simple. There's no control panel. There's no there's system preferences and all these other very, very confusing different settings that it's just so hard just to find out, oh, my mouse is too fast. Where do I go? You know, it's not like four different settings for one thing. It's all very, very straightforward. And you can click the sound setting. What's it? I actually do input, output, straightforward, easy to use. It's a very, very uncomplicated operating system. And they really focus on that, make it clean, very simple. And they also really focus on having privacy. So you can go actually to another setting. They actually do have a privacy setting. And this is kind of your elementary OS 5.1 local storage. It's pretty much the storage that you've been searching for and all the history that you may be looking in your chat logs, your documents, your music, your pictures. Anything that you can do, you can even turn it on and off. It says, regardless of this setting, usage data is never transmitted on or off this device to third parties. And how? So then you're thinking, then okay, so they're giving you a free OS, and they're giving you all these other cool things. So how exactly do they make money? Everything is based on the App Center here. This is where you can get all the other stuff. If you want to get Office, you want to download stuff. This is the safest place to go if you're going to be downloading stuff, especially even for Linux in general. You run checks and making sure everything's working well and it's very secure so you're not going to download a virus. Of course, you can always install things outside of this, but it's always recommended if you're going through Linux or um, iOS or any, or any other device that you have to go through the store. The store is always the safest way to go. And there's lots of cool stuff. Now, the more people that download it, the more people that use the stuff, it's, it's going to be much better. There's going to get more support. There will have more people on it. There's going to be more cooler apps. If you want to even go to games, you can see there's stuff that's free and then there's stuff that is paid. So you can pay for some of the stuff that you want and you can get some stuff that is free. And doing drivers, usually with Linux, it's, sometimes it can be a little complicated, especially the graphics driver or maybe the internet drivers. But in this one, pretty straightforward. It looks just like any other Linux type of updates for the operating system. You can just check here, and that's kind of where everything is. It's going to be the drivers. It's going to be the core system updates. Anything that should should be for updated is through here. Now, let's check out the browser real quick. This is the default browser. It's called Epiphany. And you could use it. It looks pretty simple, straightforward to use. So one of the cool things, too, is uh, if you're doing multiple things, you can switch between apps. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Actually, we can look at the music player now. So if you hold down the Windows key or if you have command and you can put press down and you can see there's a lot of cool shortcuts you can use. You can check the different windows, the different tasks. And now if I press the Alt tab is actually really cool too. So the animation in the Alt tab is my favorite probably on any operating system actually. You can Alt tab, you can look at the smooth animation. Ooh, look at it getting closer. to ah, It's pretty cool. I actually like it a lot. Here's the list of other keyboard shortcuts that you see here. It's pretty cool. Anyways, um, if you do want to download this, since I do have this page up, here you, here it is. And what you can do is, if you would, it would be really good if you could donate anything, even a dollar, anything would really help them keep developing this operating system going. 
you can download this on Mac or PC or another Linux machine. And then you can download it. It's only about a gig and a half. It's pretty cool. So here's a little bit of the website. We're going to link this website down below so you can check it out. It's open source, fast, secure, based on Linux. You know, it's all the cool stuff. Really cool. Just support them if you can. Anyways, guys, if you found this video really cool, um, anyways, guys, if you found this video very helpful, very cool, please leave a like down below. Please comment. Have you tried this operating system yet? Or are you going to try it now? Have you ever tried any of the apps on there or anything that you found out that's really cool with it? It's, it's still in development, though. They're on version 5.1. Um, please support them if you can. So it would be great to have another competitor to Windows, Mac, and even Ubuntu to it in some cases, right? So different version of Linux are pretty cool. If you can, if even if you just want to test this out for yourself, there's always this you can try. It's really, really cool. See what else you can do. See what else is coming up in the updates. And um, anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. We hope you have a good one. Bye.